Greetings, everybody. <clears throat> Chaplain Bob here. John 8, 12. You know it. Um, this is just a really, really short thing. I was... Uh, just some thoughts. Uh, today is the 23rd of May. And... Uh, Sabbath day. And uh, I was... Uh, you know, I went to business college for two years. I took business and computer science. I was a dual major. Uh, took, I don't know, 70-something credit hours at a junior college. But, uh, yeah, I took business. So, yeah, I've got a basic grasp of how things work. Uh, not that I'm bragging or anything, but I was reading the business news. I like to keep, I like to read the business news because... Uh, sometimes there's more truth in that than there is, you know, the regular news because, well, most of my long-term uh, listeners, I guess you could say, or I should say fellow servants, um, we know who's in charge of the media. We know who's running things for now until their father's lease runs out. But uh, I was reading the business section and I read where the banks were reporting uh, huge numbers of defaults on mortgages. Well, you know, people have been out of work for two months, right? So if you're not working, how are you going to pay the mortgage? Well, guess what? If you go three months, you're, uh, you're in deep, I guess you could say what, deep doo-doo? It's... Not a theological term, but, you know, you catch my drift. And it's not just paying the three months back, you know, back mortgage. Now you got late fees. and So there's going to be a lot of people losing their homes. And I'm already noticing inflation. I mean, and everybody will tell you, you know, if you're an economist or whatever, being paid by the tribe, Oh, that's just the price of goods going up. No. Inflation is the value of the money going down because they're printing more paper money. It's being diluted. I mean, in World War II, you could have bought an ounce of silver for about $20, $22. Um, well, actually, technically, it was illegal to own. Let me, let me back that up. In the 1920s, you could have bought an ounce of silver for about, I mean, an ounce of gold for about $22. Now, um, in, um, when I was in high school, around, oh, well, I don't know, around 1970, 71, yeah, I'm old, um, an ounce of gold was about $32 an ounce. What's it now? Like $1,500? I don't know. But that just goes to show you the dollar is worthless. But I've been noticing uh, the prices at the grocery store. Things are just going up. I mean, you got a five, four, five, five dollar loaf of bread. It's now six something. On Amazon, I was buying some crackers. Uh, they're considered like a long term storage type food thing. They were ten dollars. Now they're they went up to twelve the other day, and I thought, yeah, I'm not going to buy them because. I'm waiting for the price to go down. Today I looked at it, they're about 14. I was like, wow. So yeah, I'm, I'm noticing prices are rising because, you know, they're just printing money. So uh, and people are, people are going to be losing their homes. And we're still not. They're, they're finally now talking about opening up and letting people go back to work. But how many small businesses are going to be out of work, uh, business, they're going to go under, you know, and um, because, you know, they couldn't work for two months. It's horrible. Things are, things are not looking good. So, all right, well, I just, like I always say, stay close to Jesus. All praise and glory to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, His precious name. Amen.